Hi, my name is Ian Murphy, Lead Investigator for the Paranormal Research Association of Boston. Welcome to the third episode of Paracast. In this episode, we're going to look at using a radiation detector to look for radiation in the average home. Let's have a look at the piece of equipment itself. Now you may be wondering, why are you going to look for radiation? It's very simple. A lot of different radioactive sources exist in our world today. In the home itself, you have multiple sources, such as microwaves, lights, TV, any number of um, man-made and natural sources. There are also gases such as radon, which emanates from the Earth's core itself. And that can build up in your home and can have a detrimental effect on your physio uh, physiology. Now, I have written an in-depth paper which will go a lot more into the radiation and the effects that it can have on you. And you can get that on our website, www.paofb.org, and you can download it from the education and training section there. What I wanted to show you is how the reactor itself is used and how to check it and zero it. Now, this is the unit that we use ourselves. As I said, it's a civil defense model um, from the um, early 80s, and it is still a very good machine to use. To check it, switch to circuit check. You can see the needle going all the way up to 5. And then you can just let it go. And to confirm that you're getting a good reading, you go to zero. And if the needle falls below zero, as it has here, it requires recalibration, which is very simple. Just using the zero adjust knob here. And there we are, we're back on zero there. Now the one, two, three, four, and five at the top are rads per hour, which is how um Alpha, beta, and gamma particles are measured, um, but they are kind of like soft numbers. For instance, if I switch it to X1, it's registering that there is about 0.1 rads per hour here right now, which is very good. It tells me that there's no radon leaks in, um, in this area and that it is a very safe background, background level. Now, if I put it to 0.1, you can see it's starting to increase, and it should come up to around the 1 mark there. Now, as with most instruments, you do have different settings on it, so you can take full advantage of numbers. For instance, you can see it's not registering here at all when I have it on X10, which would mean that the 1 would be a 10, the 2 would be a 20, and also, of course, nothing coming up on 100, where the 1 would be 100, the 2 would be 200, and so on. But on the 0.1 scale itself, you can see it is measuring a small amount of radiation there as well. But again, normal background noises. Now, I hope you found this episode of Paracast as interesting and informative as the last. If you have any suggestions for a piece of equipment that you'd like to see, send us in an email to investigate at PRAOFB.org. See you next time.